What's good? We back. It's the Boss Clinic. Good morning, your boy CJ Goodfellow with another quick five. And, uh, you know, according to ESPN uh, and some sources, you know, uh, Top Rank is trying to make a nice in house fight with uh, Joseph Parker, who is a top ranked fighter, promoted fighter, along with his other promotional company that he's dealing with. Um, and Brian Jennings, who's a top ranked fighter as well, if you didn't know. Uh, he got away from Rock Nation, went over to Top Rank. You know, he's uh, managed by Jay Prince as well out of Philadelphia. And I think this is a good fight. You know, they wanted to go down at uh, in Atlantic City uh, at the Oceans Resorts Casino, Atlantic City, August 18th. So, you know, boxing starting to heat up with Danny Garcia and, and Sean Porter. It might be on August 25th or September 1st. The summer is heating up also with Joseph Parker and, and Brian Jennings. I think this is an excellent fight for Joseph Parker. I think it's an excellent opportunity for Brian Jennings. And this is probably going to be on uh, on ESPN, on the ESPN Plus app. And uh, this is on the ESPN Plus app. I think they really, really banking out, you know, banking out the value for your $5, man. They really killing the game and getting a lot of praise. And, um, you know, and if they keep giving, you know, solid fights, and this might be a regular ESPN, I'm not sure. Um... So, uh, you know, shout out to them, man. You know, this is this is a good fight. You know, for a while, you know, people wanted to see, you know, Deontay Wilder versus both of these guys, man. You know, people wanted to see Wilder versus, uh, you know, Jennings. And they, and they was going back and forth and talking about their sparring battles and beefing over, like, several radio shows. Obviously, with Brian Jennings coming up short, you know, versus Luis Ortiz and versus Vladimir Klitschko, that kind of changed the narrative, even though he had a, a valiant effort versus Vladimir Klitschko. And then, you know, Joseph Parker, he been, you know, you know, he was supposed to, you know, wanted to fight uh, Deontay Wilder. They got an excellent relationship. He missed the WC drug test. They got it together. They re-ranked him in the WBC as well since he, uh, you know, he lost his title. You know, they don't rank alphabet champions. But, you know, call me crazy. This is a fight that I, I want to see. You know, and ESPN right behind Premier Boxing Champions is delivering some solid fight cards and some solid fights. And, you know, Joseph Parker coming off a loss. He didn't take a lot of punishment versus Anthony Joshua. Uh, Brian Jennings coming off of a win, a few wins. His last win was on the Isaac Dogbo and Jesse McAdone card. And, um, bro, th- this is this is a good card, man. This is even good in main event. And uh, if you didn't hear my other video, Isaac Dogbo wants to fight. Uh, well, you know, Jesse Jesse McAdone wants a rematch versus Isaac Dogbo. And Isaac Dogbo said, y'all, he can do it. So they can match them these fights up on the card. And just them two fights is worth, you know, more than the $5 on the ESPN Plus app. I'm not saying this fight or those fights are going to be on the ESPN Plus app. They very much well can be on ESPN because Joseph Parker is becoming kind of like a global uh, known star. And Brian Jennings is, is building himself back up. And um, he's a guy that I thought, you know, with Deontay Waters talking about squeezing down the cruiserweight, um, you know, I thought it was a guy that he could have squeezed on the cruiserweight and made a career because he's always a little bit too small for heavyweight when he went in there versus some heavyweights, you know. He had a battle with Mike Perez, and he was losing early. Then Mike Perez, his lazy ass, faded. I was Mike Perez, and he, he out-hustled him. He had a valiant effort versus Vladimir Klitschko. That's why you can tell Klitschko was on a decline, you know. And I think after that, he got stopped by Luis Ortiz. So, And he was wondering about that, about, about Luis Ortiz juicing up after all that happens. And he found somebody to get popped for juice. Um... You know, it's, that's always in the back of your mind, man. So, uh, Joseph Parker, Brian Jennings, potentially August 18th. You know, if that was at a different time, you know, I would try to swing and make that fight, man, in Atlantic City. I still might because they got the double bus or the mega bus that goes out to Atlantic City. So, you know, if, if I could, I, if I could swing that shit in, in a day or two and come back Sunday, um, I definitely would, would think about going to that fight because I got much love for Philadelphia and fighters like Brian Jennings who still keeping the Philadelphia um, you know, true name in boxing around is being tough, gritty, and wanting to continue to fight the best and still competing and hustling. And Danny Garcia seemed to find his Philadelphia balls by wanting to call out Earl Spence only because he was forced. But he always conducted himself before the well, right around the Matisse fight as being a real, true Philadelphia fighter and carrying that true blood to fight any and everybody anywhere. And, um, you know, Brian Jennings has always been addicted for that. I got much respect for Joseph Parker as well. I don't think this is a toss-up in my opinion. I think I might lean towards a little bit heavy towards, lean towards Joseph Parker. But I think uh, Brian Jennings can get him. And I think he deserved to be back on this stage and get another shot, you know, and get that notoriety versus Joseph Parker. So let me know what y'all feel about this. Atlantic City getting another fight because Kovalev is fighting um, Eddie Alvarez at the Hardware Cafe in Atlantic City. And now Joseph Parker and um, Brian Jennings might be fighting you know, at a, at a casino resort in Atlantic City. And I, I like fights in Atlantic City. And I think it deserves to be on the fight scene, you know, even with Arturo Gotti gone. But we out.